Did you know that most BMWs have a hidden menu that can unlock hidden features, run tests and show information that's not normally easily available to us? In this BMW i3, not only can we enable drift mode, yes, drift mode, but also check battery capacity and temperature. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so what is this hidden menu and why do we even have one? Well, this is basically used by technicians and other BMW personnel to get quick information out of your car without having to hook up an actual diagnostics tool. How is it useful to us? Well, let me show you. First of all, to get into the menu, we're just gonna hold this odometer reset button on the left side and it's gonna be about 10 seconds before it shows up. With this, keep holding, don't stop. We're gonna keep holding and then we are brought into this hidden menu. So we have a few different options here. We have identification, system test, start roller mode, initializing BC and range, test and, and unlock. So there's not that many options, but this unlock one is the interesting one. So keep watching and I'll show you how to unlock it and how to get into some more advanced options in here as well. So first of all, you do have to be in accessory mode in order to see a lot of this information. Otherwise, I may not let you do certain tests. So first one, we're gonna go to identification, press and hold on the same button. And now it's gonna show us some information, not super useful, but you do have like hardware IDs in your VIN number or the last seven digits of your VIN number and things like that. So not super useful, but do remember those uh, last few digits of your VIN number, we will need that later. Second one is system test. So if I press and hold, we gonna get into the system test. System test, question mark, yes. So if you press it after that, a single press is basically telling it, telling it that yes, we want to perform the test or whatever it's asking. So it's testing all of the LEDs, everything else, which is super useful to make sure that, you know, your lights are not burnt out and things like that. So very nice. Press and hold to go back. Once back, we have number three, which is start roller. This is our drift mode in a way, what people call a drift mode. But what it does is basically disable everything on the vehicle. So the traction control, the ABS, the stability control, it's telling you that this is basically a test operation and all of the stuff that helps you drive is disabled. So do keep that in mind. And what it does for us is allow us to do things like this. We can go on the grass and you know do donuts in the snow you can do whatever you want with the car but of course it's mostly used for loading the car and trucks and things like that so you do not damage the transmission in the vehicle or the electric motor if you want to see more about that and how it helps you have fun in the snow check out this video right there for a lot more detail number four is this uh, initialized bc comma range not super descriptive, but basically what it does, it, it will reset your entire computer as far as mileage, your way of driving. So if you're selling the car, this is actually a great way to have the system reset to default. So the range and everything else shows as it would for a new car instead of a uh, customized to your style of driving. I actually reset it by accident, but basically you would go in here I wouldn't recommend resetting it if you keep driving the car and then just press and hold again and it says range initialized. So as you can see, it kind of resets all of the items as far as, you know, our driving range and everything else. And then we have 09, which is just the end of the test. So it would exit out here. But going to number 10, which is the fun one in some ways, we can unlock it. So how do you unlock it? Well, you press and hold on unlock and then it's gonna ask you for a code. The code is the last four last four not five and a lot of other bmws it's five but on this one it's last four last four digits of your vin number added together so in my case it's going to be 14 i'm going to enter 14 by just pressing this button 14 times and then on 14 i'm going to press and hold and there you go we are now unlocked and we have a few more additional options open up for us so we have fuel tank and battery which is a very very good one so if we go into that all right left tank there is no left tank on this vehicle right tank has 333 ohms doesn't tell us much but that actually means we have 6.5 liters of fuel in the tank very nice so to total obviously 6.5 because we only have one tank in this vehicle on other vehicles you could probably see more values here but yeah that's what we see and it shows us for some reason 6.7 even though it only has 6.5 kind of interesting 
Also, the next one, then 13.08, is the battery capacity. So the max battery capacity on this vehicle at the moment is 16.4. Now, this one is a little bit controversial, I would say. So this is a maximum battery capacity as displayed, and it's not necessarily a very reliable indicator of battery state of health, but it is very helpful to see where this car stacks among other used BMW i3s of this battery and this age. Uh, the only way to know for sure uh, what is the battery level and health is to go to a dealership and do, they do a very elaborate and difficult task that will cost you a lot of money because I believe it takes over eight hours. In our case, you know, this BMW i3's BMS is looking after your battery very well and without you needing to worry about it, but this is still a pretty cool statistics to see. So 16.4, I believe the new one has like 18.5 available capacity. So well, you can see how much, how many kilowatts have kind of degraded in your battery. So the next item, 1309, shows us the state of charge. So that's 100%. 13.10 is kind of an interesting one. That shows the battery charge. And that's it for the state of charge option. Now going back, we can go to temperature, which is also very good to have, uh, especially if you have issues with the car. So we're going to go in there. It shows us, you know, not much that we can read, but if you go to the next one for the raw data instead of the hex data that we saw earlier, so you can see the O temp is 2.6. If we keep going, the coolant temperature is 6 degrees Celsius. So why is it higher, you're asking? Well, because I was charging the car earlier, so the coolant was actually keeping the battery warm, and thus the coolant is a bit warmer. Obviously, the engine's not running, so the battery oil temperature is not going to show up, but you also see the battery temperature, which is 10 degrees, which is very interesting because it's much cooler outside than 10 degrees, but that tells us that the battery is being warmed up while it's charged to make sure it gets the best charge. That's why we have the preconditions for the battery so you can drive off and, and have full capacity and full capability of the battery when it's very, very cold outside. So that's very cool to see and very useful uh, if you're having issues like battery overheating, things like that, you can see where it's at. All right, so moving on to number 15. Number 15 basically tells us information that you would kind of see in your uh, in your big screen over there. So it'll tell us how many liters we have used, the time counter from the time we have reset the internal computer. Unfortunately, the onboard computer was reset earlier, so that doesn't show much, but this was at like 60,000 seconds or something like that. We also have the distance counter, so this is how long the vehicle has been driven since the onboard computer has been reset, and also the kilowatt hours and well, that's it. And finally, number 24. So this is the correction factor. This one is very interesting because this will allow you to change how the vehicle shows you range. So if you think that your vehicle is kind of lying to you, you know, when it says 75 miles, but you only get about 45 miles, you can actually change this and adjust it to where it will be more accurate for your style of driving. Obviously, there is a math formula, which I will link in the description, or I'll put it here on the screen, so you can use that formula to see what you would change this to in order for it to represent your actual driving. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend changing it without knowing what you're doing, but if you do the math, it's pretty cool. I hope you have learned something about your BMW i3 and how to actually access the hidden menu, and hopefully you find information useful that's in there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see a lot more hidden features on this BMW i3, check out this video right here, and I'll see you in the next one.